This is a tutorial about range and domain uh, using Autograph and we're going to have a look first of all at a simple cubic uh, having a look at the range corresponding to a given domain and then have a look at some exercises concerning an ellipse. So first of all we'll start this diagram from scratch so you can see how it's built up. Enter an equation and here is the equation x cubed minus 2x minus 2 and I'm going to click OK and uh, we're not teaching cubics at the moment so it's no need for a slow plot and all that. That's what we want and so now we need to uh, establish what the domain is it's stated to be from minus 1 uh, to 2 so we need to double click on this and we can enter the domain here in the startup options. Now the startup options uh, have this manual option which means you can specify precisely where you want it to draw from minus 1 in this case to 2. Uh, what we could do is make it a little thicker because I think that would be nice. Let's have uh, three points and OK and OK. So there's the function that we're talking about and clearly it has a maximum here and it has a minimum here. So the range is going to be from this minimum point to this point here. Uh, so I think it would be quite useful to enter the limits of the domain as equations of x. So let's x equals minus 1, enter, and then enter again x equals 2 but I'll make that the same color. There we go. Uh, what we could do is select these two and right click edit the draw options and make them dotted. Okay, so we want to find out what this point is. It's obviously going to be the point 2, 2, but in case it wasn't so obvious we go to point mode and we press control and that's where we look for intersections and we seem to get a little circle there it goes. Uh, this one is not so important because it's not uh, one of the limits of the range. Uh, always uh, remember to cancel control afterwards. So uh, what's this one going to be? Well it's, it's 2, 2 but we can see what the text box gives us and we'll call that the maximum, MAX. Now what about the minimum here? Well it's going to be the turning point here. Now we could uh, click on that and right click and solve. Let's go up to here object solve f dash equals naught and what that will do is uh, solve for all the instances of zero slope and there's one there and there's one there. We don't really want that or well, we could do it that way and then put a point on here and then right click to a horizontal line something like that. That's one way of doing it. Undo, undo, undo. Uh, another nice way is to put a point actually on the graph to the left of where you want to work out the minimum and then use the right click option to move to the next f dash equals naught and that will take you down to there and then you can do a horizontal line. And we can do a horizontal line here just to show that nicely and then select this point and text box and put that as minimum. So you can now see the range goes from negative 3.089 to 2. Uh, you might want to put a text box announcing the domain. Now the domain goes from negative 1. Now we want less than or equal to, which is on the floating keyboard, who are less than or equal to x, less than or equal to 2. And we can park that up there. So that's one way of looking at this. And this is for a straightforward cubic. Let's have a look at a slightly more complicated function. And the ellipse is the one we're looking at. And this is the finished result. In other words, we're looking at the uh, domain for x less than minus 4 and x greater than plus 4. Uh, let's just take all these bits off first of all. Select and delete. Select and delete. Yes. Select. What you notice is that because these are all implicit equations of second degree, they actually rearrange as y equals plus or minus, which is why I've got two halves. So there we are, we've got our x equals plus or minus 4 representing the domain, and now I'm going to enter an equation and put our lips back. There it goes. OK, OK. So what we need to do to get this to work very nicely is to, um, you can double click on this and look at the startup options and do manual from negative 5 to negative 4 and that should give you just that little bit down there. Now in order to get this one we're going to have to draw the function again. So enter an equation, there it goes, 
but, uh, but the startup options now are going to be manually from 4 to 5. Uh, so that's one way of doing that. What you might also want to do is do the problem the other way around. In other words, uh, supposing you want to cut off the ellipse uh, so that it doesn't have values greater than plus 3 or less than minus 3. So for this we want to enter the equation y equals plus or minus. Now plus followed by a minus does that and then 3. That will give you two graphs along here. And what we need to do now is go backwards a bit, get rid of that and double click on this and make it automatic so we've got the whole lot. So we want to find out where these intersection points are so we go to uh, again the point and then control and here it is and there's four of those. So we just need to make a note of the value of x which is negative 3.307. Now I've noticed that the control is still down, very important to cancel that. Uh, negative 3.307 was the uh, number we're looking for so we want to change the domain. Now another way of doing this is to select a function and use the replot option because that gives you straight to the um, re-editing of the domain bit and so I'm going to do this from negative 5 to negative 3.307. That's done that very nicely and once again we need to draw the graph again and do it from the other end. Do enter an equation that again, OK, and this time we want to go from 3.307 to 5. And there we have it. So we could perhaps make that the same colour just to tidy it up. So that's having a look at uh, domain and range for an ellipse, but earlier on we're having a look at the cubic. Range.